Hello, good morning. Uh, this is teacher Jacob, and this video is for sixth grade. Today, we're going to have our reading class, okay? And we are going to start in unit eight, okay? And before we start this, we need to understand the topic. The topic is food world. It means different food, a different kind of food. So this topic is to practice, to learn about vocabulary, about food. It's something that you eat. For example, bread, water, milk, uh, what else, uh, jolly, uh, beans, rice, soup, chicken, meat. Those are food that you eat. And this is the reading about that. Today is a reading class, okay? So don't forget reading class. And don't forget to write also. You need to write here on your book, here, the date. Today is August 24th, okay? August 24th. All right. And remember we're gonna do three activities activity number one so let's go let's go come on let, come on let's go to let's go to um the video and remember this you need to do uh three activities activity number one is you need to circle i insist it's mandatory to give circle the words that you don't understand. So if I don't understand, for example, everything, I circle everything. I don't understand self. I circle avoid, accept. So those words that I don't understand, I give you a circle. Um, I don't know what it means accept. So I give a circle compare uh, healthiest. I don't know what is that, diet, I don't know. So activity one, circle the words that you don't understand. A packet, I don't know, lunch, I don't know, journey, I don't know what is that, varieties, I don't know. Um, I don't know what it means, walk. So those words you're gonna give circle, okay? And in my opinion, it's, uh, it's excellent if you write a list of the words that you don't know. Remember, it's not only circle, you need to do something else. You need to uh, look at the dictionary, the words that you don't understand, the words that you gave circle. Okay, so uh, one example, I don't understand what is the meaning of packet. So I circle packet and I look at the dictionary and I write here like a list and then I, I write. Or even if you want to, it's possible to write you give a circle and inside the circle, you write the meaning in Spanish. And then you can have uh, or increase more uh, vocabulary and then you can understand, all right? Activity two, it is about this reading. This is very small reading. So from here until here, you are going to uh, underline the words that you don't understand. Uh, understand. Uh, Underline verbs, remember a verbs. For example, in this case, here is a verb is. Look is another verb. Are is a verb. Uh, is is a verb. Is is a verb. Um, packet is a verb. Uh, take is a verb. Uh, leave is a verb. Uh, walk is a verb. And, and, and take is a verb too. And das is a verb, packet is a verb, travel, to, get, and take. So you're going to circle the, the verbs, circle the underline, underline, circle unknown words, underline verbs. Activity three is you are going to listen and then you are going to uh, read with me louder. So I mean, you're going to repeat in your house, louder, 
Lottery means you listen and repeat with me. Repeat, imitate me. All right? Very slow. Attention. Listen, read, and speak. Listen, read, and speak. Come on, let's go. You can do it. Ready? One, two, three. Where's your packet launch from? Okay. Where's your packet launch from? By Sam Cooper. Home. That's the simple answer, but look again. Are there any apples? Is there any ham? Where is the bread from? Many students in the U.S. take a packet lunch to school. Their journey varies. Some live very close and walk to school. And some others take a bus or car, but how far does the food in packet lunch travel together? Let's take a look. The top of Everest. Philly. Canada. Local Mexico. This local Mexico. Equator, you see Equator, Argentina, Argentina. Continue. Of course, it depends what you buy. But nowadays, many of the food items in our supermarkets come from other countries. Some food travel thousands of kilometers. In fact, some food from the U.S. travels to another country for processing and then comes back again. So, why not use local food? Using local food helps the local economy. It maintains green and open space near you. And it often tastes better because it is fresher also. With Food Local, your pocket, your poor pocket lunch doesn't travel so far. So you listen and then you repeat, right? It's not complicated. Activity four is li uh, reading comprehension. So you are going to uh, do exercise one, two, and three. So this is number, so you're gonna do exercise one, exercise two, and exercise three. Uh, exercise two and three is for the next page. So notice this, if we go to the next page, uh, there is uh, uh, another reading comprehension, number two and number three. Notice this. So according to the reading, you need to write the answers here. So let me help you, okay? Let's go to the next page. So let's go to the reading comprehension. So reading, where is it from? Look, identifying right an audience. So you need to know where is coming from the, the information that you receive when you are reading. Look, when you read a test, ask yourself, who is the writer? Where is he or she from? Who is the article for? The answers help you understand the content. So you need to know information before you read, and then you can have an, an, a great idea about the reading. So let's go for uh, activity one. Look at, the, look at the article quickly and answer the questions. Question number one. Who 
who is the writer of the article? Who is the writer? So if you notice this, uh, this, this name, Sam Cooper is the writer. So you are going to write Sam Cooper in this part, okay? Who is the writer of the article? The answer is Sam Cooper. So you write Sam Cooper or he is Sam Cooper, both. One of them, Sam Cooper or he is uh, um, Sam Cooper. B, what type of test is it? So the test is talking about food. So you're going to write food. This word food or food wall is possible. Food wall. So you write here the type of the text is about food wall. All right. C. Let's go see. Who is the article for? So this article, who is the article for? According to the reading, the article in general is for people, for uh, in general, for all the people who are in, in a local economic, local economic, this local economic. So who is the article for? Is for the local economic and for the people. I mean, people in, include children, teenagers, and adult people, all right? So it's for everybody, it's, it's, it's for anybody, and it's not for one, it's for in general. Now, let's go for question two. Question two it, is a little different because you need to read the article and complete the table with the information from it. Ways to get to school. So uh, here uh, you need to uh, answer the question. I mean, you ways to go to school. So you go to the reading food. So what kind of food? So you write the food and the countries appear in the reading. Don't forget. So we go to the next page and we have a reading comprehension. So let's go reading comprehension very quickly. So where's your packet lunch from? By Sam Cooper, home. Uh, that's a simple answer, but look again. Are there any apples? Is there any ham? Where is the bread from? Many students in the US take a packet lunch to school. They're darny bariettes, only very close, and walk to school and some others take a bus or a cab. But how does the food in a packet lunch travel together? Let's take a look. Uh, top Everest, Chile, Canada, local, Mexico, Argentina, and Equator. Of course, it depends what you buy, but nowadays many of the food items in our supermarkets come from other countries. Some food travel thousands of kilometers. In fact, some food from the U.S. travels to another country from for processing and then comes back again. So why not use local food? Using local food helps to local economy. It maintains green and open space near you. And it often tastes better because it's fed fresher also. With local foods, your poor pocket lunch doesn't travel so far. All right. So according to that, so you're going to answer the questions here. So ways to go to school. So walk in cars or bus. And food, so you need to write the food. Uh, you are the most tomatoes, bread, uh, lettuce, and so on. Okay, don't forget countries. Well, we have here like uh, um, the United States, uh, Equator, Chile, and, and so on. Don't forget. And the last part is answer these questions. A, B, C, and D. Why does the writer say home is the simple answer? Okay, so you need to tell me why. So it's, it's good. It's good to buy in, in, in the food in your, in, in your country. No outside, okay? Now, 
that is the end of the class. So see you next time.